Rick and Jill here with Professor Victor Gonzalez from the University of Kansas. He'll tell us about his fascinating research into climate change and temperature effects on bees as well as other vital pollinators. These experiments were made possible by the use of the IOTherm device cooled by Aspen Systems. All right, Victor, thank you so much for joining us today. So to start off, could you tell us just a little bit about you and your research? Yeah, thank you um, for this opportunity. And, and basically what I have been doing with the, with the um, in my research is to try to understand how bees and, and other pollinators, um, flies and, and beetles and butterflies are actually and responding to changes in temperature. And so had, um, right now, you know, because of, of climate change, you know, which involves a, a basically different as changes in different aspects of the climate. Um, one of them is temperature. Insects are more the most vulnerable um, organisms on, on earth. So understanding these, these, um, these responses are very important because um, insects in general are a key component in our biodiversity, you know, in our world. You know, people have said that we live in a world dominated by insects. Pretty much everything is, is you know, these insects related, you know, including pollination, you know, um, which is the, my my focus. So understanding insects responses to, to um, temperature and humidity, for instance, are very key um, scientific and societal uh, concerns right now. So I've been basically looking at the at the this group of, of insects that are involved in pollination. So that impacts the world food crops. Is that right? Exactly. Well, everything you know, and, and even now like, that we live in an interconnected world, anything that happens in South America and the tropics is going to affect us, you know, in, in one way or, or another, um, either in the supply of the of the crops and the fruits or vegetables or in the in the prices do you do any lab work or is it mostly field work that you do um so this is a good question because um my all the work that i have done is in the field in colombia and, and panama for me it has been great to bring the equipment into the field uh, sometimes when i find a place to to plug it into the into the electricity I use it also or, or I have used um, a power a power generator you know to to um, to run the machine run the experiments in the field so being able to do this uh, to bring these these systems into the field is a, is a plus you know gotcha that's where the iotherm and aspen systems comes in right yes that that is, that is correct before the Aspen system, were you running to, running into any difficulties in the field or like thermal challenges while trying to collect data? Yes. Yeah, the temperature was it like being able to to lower the temperature uh, to 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 a point that the the insects were losing motor control. Sometimes I wouldn't reach to that point, you know, because I didn't have the the system to do it. So or, what? Uh, yeah. So what would you do in that case? Would you bring them back to the lab? No, I just I, I wasn't um, able to do the experiment basically. Oh. Wow. Um, but yeah, but but with the Aspen system, it, like I said, I I don't have any limitations with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how would you say the Aspen Cool device has impacted the quality of your data? Ten, you know that's I, yeah, without a doubt, I would say that ten. You know, this is yeah, this has been an amazing system. Um, I have been gathering information that nobody has had before, you know, and that's, that's something that will impact our understanding of those insect responses and particularly bees, you know, to climate change. All right, well, thank you so much again. And, and I'll be, you know, that's it. That has been a great opportunity to share um, something that I have been doing and, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank Victor. you, Victor. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like and follow below for more future episodes of Chill with Rick and Jill. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.